Welcome to GTA Company. This is about the thermodynamic principles of metallurgy. Here is the index. I am going to talk about the thermodynamics principles. What are the applications? And it's extraction of iron from its oxide. And the second one is extraction of copper from cuprous oxide or copper oxide. And finally about the extraction of zinc from zinc oxide. These areas we are going to look into. So this is how the extraction of iron from ore reaction is happening. This is one main area we are going to focus. Extraction of iron and oxides. Extraction of copper from cuprous oxide. Let's proceed. So, thermodynamic principle of metallurgy. So, some basic concepts of thermodynamics helps in understanding the theory of metallurgical transformations. Gibbs energy is the most significant term here. The change in Gibbs energy, delta G, for any process at any specific temperature is described by the equation Delta G is equal to delta H minus T into delta S. But delta H is the enthalpy. It's enthalpy change. And delta S is the entropy change. And T is a specified temperature. And delta G is nothing but your Gibbs energy. This is the one. For any reaction, this change could be explained through the below equation. You are able to see delta G theta at a temperature theta which is equal to minus R into TL N into K. But K is the equilibrium constant of the reactant product system at the temperature T. A negative delta G implies a positive K constant and this can happen only when reactions proceed towards the products. From these facts, we can make the following conclusions. When the value of delta G is negative, only when the reaction will proceed. And delta S is positive, on increasing the temperature, the value of T into delta S would increase. So delta H less than del T into delta S and then delta G will become negative. If reactants and products of two reactions are put together in a system and the net delta G of the two possible reactions is negative, the overall reaction will occur so that the process of interpretation involves coupling of two reactions. The sum of their delta G and looking for its magnitude and sign. Such coupling is easily understood through Gibbs energy delta G theta versus T plot for transformation or formation of the oxides. The reducing agent forms its oxide when the metal oxide is reduced. The role of reducing agent is to provide delta G theta negative and large enough to make the sum of delta G theta of the two reactions. So, oxidation of the reducing agent and reduction of the metal oxide. As we know during reduction, the oxide of your metal decomposes. You are able to see, I got my oxide here. This is the oxide metal and you got the metal and the oxygen separately. The reducing agent takes away the oxygen. So oxygen can be visualized as a reverse of oxidation of the metal. And then delta F into G theta value can be written in the usual way as mentioned below. You are able to see the metal 
which is placed in oxygen may become an oxide your metal oxide so here delta g theta depends on the metal and also the metal oxide if reduction is being carried out through equations then the oxidation of the reducing agent will be there you are able to see the carbon which is a solid with the oxygen it will become a carbon monoxide so delta g of carbon comma carbon monoxide this is how it will be indicated your gibbs energy over here you are able to see the carbon monoxide which it reacts with the oxygen will give carbon dioxide so gibbs energy can be calculated from the carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide as shown here let's discuss on the variation of carbon dioxide in terms of temperature so if carbon is taken there may be also a complete oxidation of the elements to carbon dioxide here is a one so half carbon in plus half oxygen oxygen will provide half carbon dioxide so obviously the entire things will be half so half of gibbs energy from carbon monoxide or carbon variation of carbon dioxide in terms of temperature so these areas i'm going to look into so if carbon is taken there may be a complete oxidation of the element to carbon dioxide so here is the equation carbon half carbon plus half oxygen will give half carbon dioxide so entire equation is giving us half which indicates the gibbs energy is half carbon and carbon dioxide so on subtracting it means adding its negative or the reverse from one of the three equations we got the oxides of metal with the carbon will provide you the exact metal and carbon monoxide over here you are able to see the oxide of metal with the carbon monoxide so here carbon carbon monoxide will give metal and carbon dioxide or else let's work it out like the oxides of the metal with the half carbon the part of the metal will give the metal and half carbon dioxide this is how the oxides will be formed and an extraction of metal is happening this reaction describes the metal oxide that we want to accomplish the delta r into g theta values for this reaction in general can be obtained by similar subtraction of the corresponding delta f into g theta values as we have seen heating favors a negative value of delta r into g theta therefore the temperature is chosen such that the sum of delta r into g theta in the two combined redox process is negative in delta r into g theta versus t plots this is indicated by the point of intersection of the two curves you are able to see the two curves the curve of metal oxide and that of the oxidation of the reducing substance after that point the delta r and g theta value becomes more negative for the combined process including the reduction of metal oxide so the difference in the two delta r into g theta values after the point determines whether reductions or reductions of the oxide of the upper line is feasible by the element represented by the lower line you are able to see the upper line and lower line this is upper line and this is lower line or this one is upper line and lower line 